In this demo, we'll show you how to download a large language model like a Mistral 7B Instruct from Hugging Face and using NVIDIA provided Instruct YAML and a model generator, try to shrink the model size to fit to a smaller GPU, which is in this case an A10G or a GPU NV medium on Snowpark Container Services. In this reference architecture, what we are showing you is we are building an image which primarily uh, starts with NIMS container or the NVIDIA Inference Microservices container, the 24.02. We attach two files, uh, which is a model generator shell script and an instruction YAML. The model generator shell script primarily has the sequence of execution. How do we download the model from Hugging Face, then generate the model, and then, and then finally uh, providing the model for inference. As soon as you build the image, you go ahead and push it to the Snowflake repo, which is going to be used to go build the Snowpark container service. The Snowpark container service will be using an A10G, which is a GPU NVIDIA medium. Once the Snowpark container service is created, it will execute two, two steps. One, the model generator shell script, and then launch the inference service as soon as the NVIDIA TRT engines are created. The instructions to shrink the model is contained within the instruction.yaml. Once the inference service is launched, it will start the endpoint, the inference endpoint, and then the streamlit endpoint will start listening to it. And then you can start using the large language model, which is Mistral in this case, to start interacting for your inference. All of this is packaged as a, as a native application inside Snowflake. And then as a provider, you build that application package and then create it as a private listing. And then the consumer will be able to launch that app without having to run, run uh, write a piece of logic by just downloading the package and then assigning the resources and then use it. There are some prerequisites that are required for you to go ahead and build this model on Snowflake. The first thing is making sure that you have the login credentials created on NVIDIA NGC dot NVIDIA. I have my login credentials and I've been, I have the access to the Nemo microservices and the team. Make sure you also have it. The second thing is you also make sure that you generate an API key and uh, you have the API key available for you to use so that you can download the NIMS 24.02 container. The second requ requirement is to have a hugging face credentials created and then generate a user token so that it can be used to go download the Mistral 7B instruct model from hugging face. And the information that you gather from the user and the token needs to be updated inside the model generator shell script. The way you do that is first you create a login credential by signing up. And then in the access token, you just click a new token and then generate a token and copy it. And that is the token that you will pass inside this git clone line, which is a, which is a line of code inside model generator.sh. What does model generator uh, shell script do? Since the size of the model that we will be downloading from, uh, from hugging face is around 55 to 60 gig for Mistral Sandby Instruct, and it can be bigger for different models. We are trying to use block storage as a way to store these downloaded models from Hugging Face. So I'm creating two directories, which is the first one is to create a directory where the clone would, uh, the pit clone for Mistral will, will, will be uh, saved. The second folder is where the generated model will be saved. The TRT engines, uh, the, the NVIDIA TRT engines will be saved. Then the second step would be to git clone. You provide the destination. And then the third step would be to generate the model on the NIMS container. And then using the instruct YAML that has been attached to that container. And finally, soft link to the model store, uh, the, both the engine files in model store. And then model store is where the inference service will look for these two engines are available. Now, now you have built the image and then you have your image available uh, in the container. 
Snowpower container. The first step is execute the shell script. The second step is to launch the inference server. And then you mention the number of GPUs you need to go host this uh, model. These are, this is an overview of what is being built. But to get started with building, you download the, the entire suit of code that we have built and saved it in this repo. Um, you make a copy of it or you can directly edit them. Uh, the only place where you need to edit uh, in the shell script, which is the model generator shell script that we have so far covered. The next steps, I'll tell you where else you need to make modifications so that you're clear in uh, pre building the package and then building the consumer code. To build a native application, you definitely need a role. Uh, so go ahead and create the provider role and the consumer role. Uh, the provider role is going to help you go build that package. And then the consumer role is going to help you go test the uh, application, uh, assuming a consumer role. Before you build the native application, you want to make sure that you have the uh, you have the compute pool created, and then you assign the role that you created, and then make sure the app distribution is still internal. Create your database schema, and then the image repository, then the application package name. Make sure you grab the URL coming out of this show image repositories and save it somewhere. The next is a Docker setup. After you have created the show image repository, I mean, you have captured that. Now you go into your local machine or an EC2 instance. In my case, I've used uh, a, a, an EC2 instance. I've already built these images, but if you are starting off fresh, you would not have these images. So you basically follow the steps mentioned here, which is to log in into uh, nvcr.io, pass your credentials that you copied from uh, the API setup. Thereafter, you go ahead and build these images, the inference model store, and these are helper helper um, uh, services, containers. The main one is the inference. Once you have built all these images, make sure you do the Docker images. And then now you need to send these images to Snowflake repo for that. The, the URL that you copied by doing show image repositories in the Snowflake. Just keep that in uh, handy. You log into your Snowflake uh, re Snowflake repo using your Snowflake credentials. Then you tag your local image to the destinations, all these four images. And then finally, after tagging, you go ahead and push them. Once all of this is complete, try to test your or validate your image by doing a Docker run, passing your inference uh, image right here, and then make sure these two files, the instruct YAML and the, and the updated model generator shell script is there with the, with the hugging face uh, user and token. Now that you have completed the steps to push the image uh, from the Docker files that are provided, uh, the next step is to go ahead and create the uh, application package for as a provider. Make a copy of this and then put it inside your Snowflake canvas. You would see that the setup script is still there. You can continue to run this because we have if not exist, which will not replace a thing. And run through the scripts, the entire script. And then finally, once the uh, package has been built, it should generate all these uh, endpoints for you and the application status should be ready and running. The next step is I want to be able to share this to my consumers as a private listing. For that, I would go ahead and do private sharing, then make sure that I am sharing my application right here. So you go ahead and click um, uh, publish to specified consumers and then this is how this is the application that I've done. Once you have completed publishing as a private share, your application is ready to be consumed by your consumer application. I'm logging into my consumer side. Then on my consumer side, I am going into the applications. And then in the applications, I would go ahead and I will assume the account admin role because generally the account admin would have access to download. 
If you have never done that, um, the app would show somewhere here. And then because I already downloaded, I'm not seeing the get icon like how you see it here. You would see a get icon, click that, and then complete the steps to install your application on your consumer side. Since I've already done it, it's not showing that, uh, showing that icon, but the app is already installed on my consumer side. Now, as soon as you have installed it, your app should show up in the, in the installed apps. And then if you look at about the app, it should show you a demo script or a template that you want to click this as an open in worksheet and then launch that. It should launch something like this with the template and with the database that comes configured. Once you have run this entire list of um, list of uh, commands, updating the application instance, I have given the application instance name as NVIDIA Summit Demo 1. And then I have also updated the app database as I want it to be and what I'm using here. Once you execute this entire script, it's going to generate a list of endpoints, just like how you saw it in the provider side. But this is on the consumer side. We see all these endpoints are generated and then you should be good to go and use that. Before we start using it, I want to make sure that the app instance is up and running. So I go ahead and run this command to make sure run the store prop that is that comes packaged and make sure that the status is ready and the message is running. Once I've done that, I get the app endpoints, which is very similar to what I, what I showed you in the previous screen and grab the streamlet endpoint, then go ahead and open that. Once you have opened that, since the model is running, so I'm going to start asking prompts and then it is going to tell me that it's a Mistral model that I'm running and then we are good to go ahead and use this for any inference. One more thing I want to mention is once you create an app instance and then launch it, you'll see there is a schema that gets created. And then inside that there is an inference function that is doing the that is doing the prompt and then response for you the LLM app that's exposed to the stream. With that, I conclude the demo. Happy building.